Well, listen, he's the legendary <laughs> singer, actor, producer, known as Old Blue Eyes and the chairman of the board. It's up to you. Frank Sinatra is one of the most successful music artists of all time, selling more than 150 million records. He also became a screen star with roles in From Here to Eternity and Ocean's Eleven. One of these days, I'll break your back. I swear it. It's a good thing for you she doesn't pack a knife. How do you know she doesn't? and gain notoriety as part of the Rat Pack alongside Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. Not to mention his reputation as a ladies man with four marriages and many relationships throughout his 82 years. Now one of Frank's former flames, Irene Too, is opening up about their relationship and her career in a new book. And in it, my Yes, it is called A Watercolour Dream, The Many Lives of Irene Sue, and we are delighted to say that Irene joins us now from Hollywood. Irene, thank you so much for joining you. Great to be with you. Yes, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Just answering some emails on the way through. <laughs> hey, in, in your memoir, you obviously open up about your relationship with the late, great Frank Sinatra. How did you two meet, <laughs> and what was your first impression of him? It just, you know, it, it just... I don't know, kind of an accident, but at that time, I, I was on TV like 40 times a day. I was doing two big commercials. One is for Standard Oil, and it's called Chevron Island, and uh, and the other one is for Hawaiian Punch. So when I was supposed to have lunch uh, with in Miami where I was shooting the commercial, uh, this producer friend of mine called me. I had just worked with him on another picture called Caprice. And he said, I would like to invite you for lunch at the Fountain Blue. And I thought, wow, the Fountain Blue. I've never been to, you know, Fountain Blue. So I thought, yes, yes, I'd love to come. So when I got there, um, you know, they were all seated. I, I thought it was just going to be him, you know, Aaron Rosenberg and me. And the only empty seat, there was maybe like seven or eight, ten people there. So the only seat that was vacant was right uh, opposite from Francis Albert. Hmm. So I I was so nervous. I never looked up for my plate of food, I think, you know, because okay. I didn't want to be caught staring or something like that. But uh, so that was like the very first meeting. And after I finished my plate, I quickly, you know, left. Uh, so thinking that that may be a really good little story to tell my friends, hey, guess what? I lunch with Frank Sinatra, you know. So, but that wasn't going to be end at all. So a few uh, weeks later, I'm back in L.A. and he was in L.A. And there's a very tiny kind of a private club, and um, uh, he he was there. I didn't know he was there. I went there with a friend, and I noticed that there was a whole lot of people going into the ladies' room. It was just like packed. So, well, if you have to go, you have to go, right? Mm -hmm. So went to the ladies' room and realized that he was at the corner table there with some of his buddies. Yeah. And so the, one of the buddies is a, a, a TV actor who I have worked with or know. So he said, I really want you to come on, Lola. Come on, come on, join us, join us, join us. So I squished into the, the booth. And um, this time, I think that Mr. Sinatra was much more relaxed. Yeah, but we can see that. Mm. Hey, I yeah. he obviously, uh, you obviously caught his eye, and we can see why. Um, and one thing <laughs> obviously led, led to another. You've said that uh, you always knew that the whirlwind romance wouldn't last forever, because he was, what, 30 years older than you and, and didn't, didn't want you yeah, to work? Yeah, I was... It sounds like, like he was controlling. I was, like, 21 or something, and he was 50, whatever it is. So, um, you know, I... It's just not my kind of lifestyle. I was kind of a vegetarian, you know, seeking a, a spiritual path and also uh, wanted, you know, to continue my acting career, which I felt was just starting. And I was, you know, very busy working and I, and I liked it. He said, you brought up, always want a career, always wants to work. What's the problem? You know, first it was Julia Prowse, then it was, you know, Mia Farrow and um, of course, not to mention Ava Gardner, of course, since she had a bigger career than he did, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Irene. So, 
Yes, go ahead. We could talk all day about this stuff. It is a fascinating subject. We all uh, <laughs> love Frank Sinatra. Mm. You've got a great career. You're coming up in this uh, Netflix drama series with, uh, with Hilary Spank. I just, Swank. I've just got one question for you about Frank. You know, we all know he's a ladies' man. and all. What, what was he like up close? Was he, was, he affe was he affectionate? Was he a good person to be with? Yeah, he is a very good person. He is very loyal to his friends. Uh, you know, people will always come to him for some kind of help whether it's, you know, lending his name or uh, financial, you know, help. Yeah. And he's always right there. He's uh, extremely generous. Uh, but I then, you know, it was like a boyfriend-girlfriend because I after that one day uh, of a dinner uh, in Los Angeles, we were never apart because that dinner thing was, he had to cancel it. He called me up from, my, from his car I didn't know anybody even had a car phone at that time. Mm. So he said, well, you know what? My divorce from Mia is in the news. I can't go home. There's paparazzi, everybody, you know, in front of my house. So I'm taking off to the desert. Great. And the and rest was history, and the right? the rest is history and in the book. <laughs> and I, I love in the book you say the one thing you remember from your time with him was laughter. So many oh. great to, um, stories in there, tales and uh, fascinating anecdotes. We really appreciate your time, Thanks, Irene. Irene. It's such a treat to meet you. Thank you so much. And A Watercolour Thank Dream, you. The Many Lives of Irene Sue is out now.